Hey guys, Brent here, and in this landscape photography tip, I'm going to talk about filters. Which filters to use when you're photographing a beautiful headland landscape scene like this. So I'm going to photograph using different filters, and let's see how they affect the image. And just remember guys, we do have a landscape photography filter course that I recorded with Jay and Verena, so check it out below. I've got a link below here. Alright, so firstly I'm going to photograph without any filters. So let's have a look. I'm going to take my filter holder off over here so I've got no filters on the front of my lens and I'm photographing at f16 and I'm just going to let the shutter speed decide what it should be so I'm photographing at aperture priority mode f16 all right here we go great all right so there's the scene the sky looks a little over exposed to me what do you think a little bit dull right all right so let's put the my filter holder on and all I've got on now is a circular polarizing filter, which takes out the glare out of the water and out of the sky. So let's have a look at what that looks like. I turn the filter, polarizing filter around a little bit like this, just to make sure the glare is out of the sky. And we photograph it. There we go. It's starting to look a lot more vivid. The, the greens under the water are coming out and the blue in the sky is coming out. So it's looking a lot better. So already just one filter has made all the difference. All right, so I've got a couple other filters over here in my filter holder. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a neutral density filter in, which is basically going to darken the image. That means I can use a much slower shutter speed. So let's try that. I'm just going to put a, uh, I think it's a three stop neutral density filter. This baby over here, I'm going to pop that in to my filter holder over here and it's going to darken the image that means i can have a slower shutter speed so it's telling me i got one one second shutter speed so i'll just wait for a wave to come there we go and you can see the slow movement in the water around me over here so i haven't really done too much else to the image it's just uh, showing me slower water but what i'm going to use now is a 10 stop neutral density filter now 10 stop neutral density filter really darkens the image you actually when you put it on you can't even see through the lens anymore and what that's going to allow me to do is it's going to show me cloud movement and water movement the water is going to be milky and it's one of my favorite filters the 10 stop neutral density filter so i'm going to put that in now take a photo show it to you and tell me what you think all right so we'll pull this one out three stop and we'll put my 10 stop in there we go all right the first thing i'm doing is i'm just putting the autofocus into manual mode because i don't want it to try and autofocus when it, when i can't see anything and i'm put, put, putting that 10 stop neutral density filter in there now i can't see a thing it's totally black and uh, I, might, I may have to go to manual mode to make sure that I can actually get a long enough shutter speed. So I'm going to go 30 seconds. And I'll go the same aperture as before, F16 at 30 seconds. There we go. So I'm going to let it go for 30 seconds. I'm going to show you the image now. What do you guys think? Which filter do you guys use? Please leave comments below. And also make sure you check out our filter course. This is Brent. Have a great day. Yeah.